Hello everyone, welcome to yet another conversation on the Inspired Talks. Like always, my attempt is to bring to you the most valuable insights into the CA profession and how the profession is moving forward. And today, I am absolutely honored and humbled to be speaking to one of the most prominent chartered accountants, not just in Hyderabad or Telangana, but in all of country. And even more importantly, he is currently the Board of Studies Chairman in Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. I have with me CA Daya Neva Sharma sir. Daya sir, thank you so much for taking time, your valuable time. I have seen how busy you are, but thank you so much for taking this time for our audience. My pleasure, Aryan, and you have been following it up from quite a long time. I am also excited to have a word with you, no doubt about it. And uh, compliments to you, the way you are actually, uh, you know, uh, encouraging the chartered accountants or aspiring chartered accountants in the positive sense that gives me a lot of pleasure to come and uh, you know be with you that's the only thing wonderful sir thank you so much so today what we'll do sir of course we will try to understand about your professional growth your career and also in addition to that the important role that you have taken as the chairman of board of studies what are your views your thoughts and especially for students because they are excited to understand this whole sea of change that our curriculum is going through Something about that we would like to discuss. So first, I would like to start off by asking you, Board of Studies Chairman, you pretty much have in hands the future of our entire profession, our students and the next generations to come. Is it a pleasure or is it exciting? <laughs> Aryan, it is not pleasure. Uh, pressure. It is pleasure to actually uh, be working for the future of the profession. I think every person who gets elected to the council uh, aspires to be a president or a vice president in their tenure of council. But the fact is like when you become board of studies chairman, it means a lot because you are not only touching the hearts of the students, but also the parents who are dreaming for their children. That is something wow. which is very, very important. So the pleasure comes, not the pressure. And uh, responsibility, yes, you are sitting on a council table and you need to deliver. And fortunately, the leadership at the institute, our uh, president, CA Dr. Devashish Mitra and uh, the vice president, honorable vice president also, Aniket Talati, they both come from an academic background. So it gives a lot of pleasure to work with them, take their guidance, take their inputs, and then also look at public's expectation and deliver it accordingly. So this a uh, new education policy which you are touching upon is something which is going to be a, a major game changer in time to come. Might be in your next questions if you have something, surely I would love to answer rather than making it now. Yes sir, but the fact that you bought in the emotional quotient of parents, I think that is where you have already won the hearts because that pretty much is, uh, you know, thinking about parents and the future of the students in combination with the entire family, that is fantastic sir. Yep. See, Aryan, one thing I tell you, uh, when I did my CA, more than me, I think my father was involved, my mother was involved. Mm. And today, when I see all these youngsters who are working with me, uh, who are associated with me, or they are part of my firm, they all come with the aspiration of their parents. That drives them to the next level. That actually motivates them when they fail or when they fall down. So I think that is what we need to contribute look at it because we all have gone through the same process absolutely sir and since you spoke about your articles and your uh, organization i just saw your office it is huge it is amazing can you walk us through your professional journey how you have you know under your leadership you have taken the organization to a new height and uh, what is your success mantra uh, there's a long story to it but i'll just try to give it as short as possible I joined foundation course at that time in 95 but I actually I am a dropout from a CA course because I decided not to do CA after joining the classes okay. I said no this is not cup of my tea then I completed my graduation which I don't regret I enjoyed my graduation thoroughly and then I had five options the first one was to become mechanic mechanic in the sense true mechanic to work on cars motorcycles scooters all those things because that's my passion oh, okay. then second was there third was there and the fifth one was chartered accountancy course 
I never thought that I'll do CA because I've seen my father struggling. I have seen my father putting so much of effort, my father not being available for us. But now after becoming CA, I realize what is the sacrifice which he did. So I think all the youngsters or the parents who are looking at, there's a big story in life that you need to record over a period of time. So that time uh, when I completed graduation, let me just give you first surprise that my become first year and second year, there will be a surprise for all the students as well. My become first year and second year total was only 48%. Wow. And being a son of a chartered accountant, <laughs> you can imagine what is the kind of pain my father might have gone through. Then third year when I came in and I was deciding to get into CA and that is the requirement was 50% to pass. So I have put in my best efforts to ensure that somehow I cross the threshold limit of 50% because to carry over that number of marks, it's very difficult. So with that difficulty, I got I think 55% in total in my graduation. And when I joined the firm for article ship, because my father said, no, I will not take you as an article, you need to go somewhere, wherever you tell, I'll put you there. So I joined my articles in uh, one of the large firms and uh, Lovelock and Lewis and uh, there what the problem was that more than 85-90% students, uh, all the students has to get 90% marks in their graduation. Oh. So somehow I got in, I got in, I completed my three years of articles. Further surprises, by the time I completed my three years of articles, which no one knows I am sharing with you because you are inspiring for the students that they take up this course very effectively. That's the reason I'm sharing my life out very clearly. So when I completed my three years of articleship, I only cleared one group of my intermediate. Oh, wow. Just imagine. And uh, in total, I wrote 14 attempts to pass you. And uh, just imagine after writing 14 attempts of CA, you are chairman board of studies, what kind of feeling you will have. And more importantly, I'm looking at the future of the profession. I want to add something. <coughs> 14 attempts, I say that, you know, sometime you take it serious, sometime you take it light. It's not that every time you are serious about it because I had my life to enjoy. So I did my enjoyment, I did my course. So that is how I lived my life. Uh, then I completed. My father uh, outrightly said he runs a practice. He outrightly said that you cannot join my practice. Either go for employment or go for service, whatever you want, or you start your own practice. So I still remember 3rd November 2005 is the date when I actually uh, incorporated the firm and with me my partner who was there who was my childhood friend, 24 days of birth difference from that time we are together, Vijay is my partner who is more of a brother to me. So we both decided he could not clear by the time. So when I qualified then he said, Daya chal apan practice chalu karte hai. Practice chalu karte hai to bhai karenge kya? Father was saying, don't go to office mata ho, and how do you do it? And he said, nothing doing, let us start. So we both started this practice as one man plus another half man to go about. Fortunately, in the last 15-16 years, there is no common partner, no common client, no common staff, no common uh, anything in common. It's been totally created independently. And I think that was a dream of my father, which I am living. So I'm thankful to him. That's the reason I was telling parents are the most important part in the entire process. Everything in the world can be wrong, but parents will never be wrong. I think my father might have seen something in me at that point in time, and he told me to start practice. So that is how this journey has all uh, uh, across been. In last 15 years, we got close to 150 people qualifying from our firm. And today, uh, you know, they, those guys are sitting in a best position and always feeling happy, whether they are connected or they are not. But I always feel happy that, you know, these are the guys who have actually qualified from the firm. And uh, we have an alumni group. All of them are connected. Whenever they need anything, they call me, sir, ye chahiye, sir, wo chahiye, kaisa karenge, waisa karenge. So this journey of 15 years, I can tell you one thing, Aryan, for every person who is going to do CA, we actually not only touch the heart of the colleagues which we are working with, but you get connected with the clients, you get connected with your relatives, you get connected with your family, you get connected with so many people across. And just imagine 150 articles if they are looking at you, 150 eyes are looking at you and you are one. 
So that is a dream which I uh, request all of our students to look at and see that not one, two, ten eyes, but few hundreds of eyes look at you as an inspiration and uh, continue doing your best. Wow, I am totally inspired and I could also sense that amazement when you were speaking and sharing your entire journey. 14 is a serious number and for all of you out there, if you are taking multiple attempts, just hang on because Sir has built one of the most prominent practices as I mentioned, not just in Hyderabad but in the country and if I am not wrong even overseas. overseas. So please stay motivated, your parents are the ones who will who know that you are capable of doing what you are doing and I am excited sir so I will just take a couple of seconds to soak in what you have just told me but thank you for sharing this uh, this seriously inspiring piece of uh, information with all of us. See uh, Ariyan, one thing which I would like to give message to our students please understand this course is for practice employment has just been an ancillary part of it. This profession demands integrity, independence and confidentiality in the process. And the most important part is that is what you need to maintain. Today, yes, over a period of time, the expectations have changed. But just to tell you all people, one thing, failure is not an examination. Failure is if you accept your failure, then you are failure. Don't bother about failing number of attempts on a lighter mode I say number of attempts you write number you uh, your knowledge your wisdom actually doubles that much mm. so I'm not telling you to fail but yes pass but no this is so relevant because yesterday only our final results have been announced and in a couple of days maybe I'll be posting this video so many students will be able to relate to what you are saying and my next question also was you little bit touched upon it <coughs> The fact that you mentioned this profession is for practice and employment is ancillary but the fact is that a lot of qualified chartered accountants today, freshers, even before they qualify they have an aspiration that I want to go into employment in big organizations and maybe practice I don't want to do. Is practice still so lucrative if I have to start today afresh? My answer will be totally different if you ask. Practice even today is lucrative and I am particularly proud that yeah people in industry they are not I don't say anything about them but yes practice still needs good quality people now the time has come where example my father qualified in 1973 okay right I qualified in 2005 and my guys have qualified in 2022 I always tell one point I, I had a discussion with my father again I am telling you I said the competition of future is not with the seniors. The competition of future is with the youngsters who are going to be there in the race. So what I mean to say is the new laws, the new regulations. I am thankful to this government in last eight years. I have just imagine the kind of laws which have actually gone, undergone change. Mm -hmm. so people think that you know we have lost opportunity. I say boss, where did you use opportunity that you are saying it is lost opportunity? You see the entire laws have mi mi migrated. They have transformed, the new ways of things are coming up, technology is getting adopted. Now just imagine when compared to that, are we having that number of chartered accountants who are able to service the nation? Mm -hmm. So which is more interesting? Sounds practice. <laughs> the answer is very simple and today we need people and today the kind of laws which are coming up, the kind of transparency reporting i'll use the word transparency reporting which is expected from the government to make india the superpower is only in hands of chartered accountants because the financial statements is the financial strength of a nation and financial strength can actually be defined only by a chartered accountant by no other person in the world that is not only in india but across the globe so you understand what is the role and responsibility of a chartered accountant in practice is this. Great. So, so I think I get a lot of questions. What is the scope of chartered accountancy in the future, especially practice? I hope that will clarify and I know even our Honorable Prime Minister several times, especially on CA day, he keeps stressing on the fact that chartered accountants are, you know, a very big contributors in nation building. 
they handle and they control the financial system and ensure it smoothly running so yes i think that's a very good insight that you give sir now maybe moving to the second dimension of your professional career you now have been ccm for two times back to back how has life changed as a ccm <laughs> non availability for family <laughs> that is one change which has come uh but if you ask me aryan sitting outside we all think what is institute doing wo saraswati ka mandir hai wo yaad rakho all the council members who have actually gone into the council have contributed in a big way let me just tell you one example today we are talking about information technology and audit or it you know when did institute talk about it it talked about information systems audit in 2000 22 years back we introduced the concept of disa as a course now what feeling you have now just see as a council member when you are sitting on that council table you are not talking about today and yesterday you are talking about 20 years ahead of time is it not something different let me take one more example which we did in last year digital accounting and assurance board i have been the vice chairman of that for almost this is the fourth year in which i am the vice chairman of that committee uh, board we are the first institute in the world to come out with forensic standards first institute in the world now just tell me what is the kind of feeling you have now one more step i'll talk about this forensic standards if any other institute would have uh, created right they would have paid millions of rupees but you know what has happened with our institute which people should know 200 chartered accountants pro bono on virtual mode without travel have made this forensic standards wow how many That's people know this I even i think it. you also would not be knowing absolutely so 200 chartered accountants virtually coming and discussing every wednesday that we are going to come out with the first forensic standards this forensic standards is recommendatory at this point in time but just be happy that we are at least now one year ahead of many other countries so now tell me two years of ccm is it that we are living for yesterday or today or we are living for tomorrow to come so that's the answer now i think uh, listening to you i feel very proud because unfortunately on the outer side we don't know the amazing things happening we know the amazing thing happenings but we don't know the nitty gritties that you just mentioned that the enormous effort that goes into doing all of this and being the leader i think that has always set our institute apart from the rest of the globe that we have always tried to be the leader and thank you so much for sharing that and yes of course on a lighter note non availability for family and the super hectic schedule that you have but again while we proceed i should already stop and thank you and all the other ccms for you know uh, taking step in the right direction for our future now before we move on to the student related questions if you were a youngster today and you had to i am not saying that you are old but if you were a youngster today you know in your early 20s what was that one piece of professional advice that you would give yourself looking back back at your career to the students or to myself to yourself to yourself if you had to do something differently for example what would you do with yourself uh as i told you i am a foundation dropout i told you i enjoyed my graduation i also told you i enjoyed <laughs> my learning with my firm then i also enjoyed the uh, feeling not because of any other reason on a lighter note the moment you get qualified the family is behind you to get married <laughs> so i really wanted to get married early so that's on a lighter side uh i don't regret anything yet i enjoyed i think uh, the time which you live in is the best time you go through i still remember my friends I still remember the library where I studied. I still remember the shoulders which we cried with each other, saying that you know, the papers खराब आ गया, तो paper setter ऐसा हो गया, paper setter वैसा हो गया, और paper valuer उसकी बीवी से लड़ लिया, 
all those discussion when these all youngsters also come and talk so i don't think anything a piece of advice is basically enjoy learning and uh, learning never stops there is no bigger message today we have than ratan tata himself honorable ratan tata i'll put it that way the way he is carrying himself even today he learns so much he does so much so i think we all have to continue doing certain part and one request to all the students is articles is the most important part of your life never leave it never take a chance or never get into a diversion thinking that you know i might join a small firm i'll qualify early but after qualifying if you carry the certificate along with you that certificate will be more valued than yourself mm. so what i would suggest to all the people is just that part i have done it so that is a piece of advice i am having for myself that yes i did a right thing by joining a right firm and uh, just study fantastic sir and the fact that you shared that you cursed the paper setter or the person who's evaluating students are still doing it and that will not change i think that's the <laughs> beauty the shoulder to cry and the emotions that you are relating for those of you who are seeing us on camera i can see the spark in sir's eyes when he's sharing his entire journey making me relive my own journey and i'm sure you guys are also feeling the same but do not forget to comment your thoughts and your comments as we proceed into this conversation because i am really enjoying this already now i will sir move to some specific questions related to our students firstly board of studies chairman you told it is a pleasure but what are your three priorities to change the way we see our profession or how this profession is now structured in terms of students and uh, the curriculum see uh, first change which has already come is on the way of learning right earlier we used to go to a classroom sit in the classroom travel from wherever you are reach a particular destination there you sit in the class listen to the entire lecture but today the entire thing is become virtual now i don't know whether how many of the people have downloaded uh, close to 2 lakh people have downloaded bos app now we are actually getting uh, bos app further improvised and just watch on because i even though i am a chairman of board of studies i cannot you know uh, deviate from my protocol that's my president's protocol what need to be done mm-hmm. so that he is going to announce but it's going to be a fantastic way of learning today we are giving all the classes free of cost to the students right so that will continue in a big way mm-hmm. that will continue in a big way and the new cred when you talk about in that 30% of the uh, papers are going to be case study based right that means we are going to put more of a practical orientation my vision is that you know the paper 6 which has been proposed should be a 40 page case study which is given to a student with five question to answer mm. that will include income tax gst accounting standard indas company law auditing standard you talk about whatever you have studied from foundation to final paper 5 an entire combination coming together just imagine aryan i'll tell you i'll request as a board of studies to you to give me a lifetime experience of your accounting profession what have you done from articles till date you can create a fantastic case study that will go to the students and that will be the learning so the second part first was virtual learning which is going to go in a big way in time to come number 2 is primarily uh, <coughs> the paper 6 and the case study scenarios which we are going to talk about and third is undoubtedly uh, you know use of technology mm. more and more in learning and teaching so that student at any given point in time where he is or where she is should not bother mm. when they are traveling in a bus traveling in a car traveling in a train traveling in a flight the mobile should be the power for them of education even if you see my i can show you the app which i have downloaded and which we are working on the moment you open you can just we are coming out with a bot oh. you just say what are the advantages of relevant costing that bot is going to pull out that paper from the study material and put it before you this is the advantages kindly read wow 
Okay. Now we are moving ahead. There we are talking about earlier we used to get stapled uh, material. From there we moved to printed material. From there we moved to what just in time approach, which is technically updated material. Hmm. Now we are moving to e material, e book. In e book, now we are moving to audio book. In audio book, we are going to go for editable audio book and uh, e book. That means a student can just open his laptop or iPad open whatever subject he want to, highlight the entire thing, make his notes there and just that will be his book. So this is the third thing which we are going to work on and uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, I am, I am just wishing that was if, if this was done 15 years or 12 years earlier, maybe even I could have little more enjoyed my studies. But this is phenomenal and of course we will very eagerly now wait for this to come into picture come uh, you know go live in this big way that you are saying because this is a game changer especially when you talk about bots this is something that today the largest corporations in the world are trying to build that let's have a chat bot where we can you know go ask queries and get the answers and if institute is doing that already i think this is phenomenal for not only for students to learn but also start understanding the importance of technology because now they are seeing interacting feelings so they already know <coughs> it's not a surprise for them anymore when they you know start working in organizations so this is phenomenal sir see uh, one more thing which i wanted to add here is uh, the bos app now has been released for the members okay you know why i did that most of the time even me as in practicing chartered accountant feel that i am not technically updated mm -hmm. when i go and see the uh, you know uh, the committee programs they are at a particular advanced level because it's for chartered accountants. I want to understand the basic. So what we have done is this entire board of studies app has been released for members also. That means if a member want to go and learn NDS, GST from the base level, which is taught to the student. Now the entire videos, lectures, all the material is available on BOS app. You can just go and download, listen to the discussion, which chapter, which section, what you want to learn, you can do it. Wonderful. So this is going to be the next uh, revolution, revolution kind of a thing. This is very exciting. And in continuation to that, sir, I want to ask you, there has been a lot of buzz about this new changed curriculum and the shortened period or say, you know, the changes in that and uh, revamping the entire CA structures for students that has been how do you see it changing or impacting the profession in the long run and now i mean we will have to agree that in terms of receiving competition from other global accounting bodies for example cpa cfa we also have to somewhere compete with them in terms of having our students you know at the top that they have always been do you think this new curriculum will change things for us okay. or it will <laughs> further improve for us Aryan. We are the second largest accounting body in the world. Is the message clear? <laughs> now, we have 67 international chapters and representative offices. Okay. Close to 50,000 chartered accountants are working across the globe. Right? I'm already feeling I shouldn't have asked that question. <laughs> no, 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 I'll answer. There are so, uh, and more importantly, today the fact is uh, the way we are looking at this new curriculum is going to actually answer a lot of people, a lot of things. Students are being misguided by saying that this is a long duration course, this doesn't have that, this doesn't have this. And lot of myth has been created across the length and breadth of the country. And their students are getting diverted for going for easy way of doing it. Now, why are they doing that? Whichever institute is doing. Why are they doing that? Because they don't have students. That is the reason we are second largest accounting body. And the first largest accounting body also has certain limitation because the certificate of practice is only given for a specific state or two states or three states. Whereas mm. a chartered accountant from ICI can sign anywhere in the country. Now, do you know? There are few countries in which a chartered accountant can actually go and sign the balance sheets from ICI. Do you know 
one more fact that as per the regulations and the act of ICI, a chartered accountant can open office anywhere in the world. There is no restriction. The restriction come from that other country that you cannot do a test function. Mm -hmm. But I'll just give you an example. Mauritius. Entire uh, balance sheets can be signed by a chartered accountant from ICI. Okay. Now, we are not behind. Please understand one thing. What I'm trying to tell you is we are way ahead. They can't even dream. The other institute can't even think about it. The quality of chartered accountants, there are two sections. But the fact is, the second section which remembers, reproduces, passes. That section also has an ability because of which they are qualifying C. So you cannot discount them. Mm. Might be their learning uh, in during articles would have been less, more of education. But all these chartered accountants, within a year, two or three, they become a finer stone. Hira ban jate hai. So, if you have any external uh, CPA, CA, ko lekar bitha do, or apne chartered accountant, ko teen saal ke baad bitha do, you will understand the answer. And however, friends, let me just tell with you, for the first time, ICAI is going to launch this international curriculum country-wise. More importantly, country-specific subjects will be created and chartered accountant from ICAI will be produced in the world. Wow. That is a dream which institute, yes. my president, my vice president, the council, the nation and importantly the prime minister is dreaming of and we will be there. Be rest assured. I, I have to mention this. I think I have had a couple of face-to-face -face interactions on Inspired Talks and before that it has all been virtual. But the energy level that I, is, it, it's been a long exhaustive day for both of us. But the energy levels are increasing in me listening to you. I am really looking forward to all these brilliant changes that you are just showing us a teaser of because this is what I think every student watching, especially as you rightly mentioned, uh, going for some other course with shorter duration, thinking that it will give the same opportunity. This is what uh, the future beholds, especially in an organization or in an institute like ours. So there, there is so much to look forward to. So thank you for giving us those insights. Now, let me move a little, you know, more specific towards examinations. We have seen the trend in the last couple of years. Practical papers, very practical based approach, that is great. But we are also seeing at least students who interact with me say that the papers have become a bit lengthy. They are not able to complete the paper and that sometimes leaves them puzzled that is institute trying to check our speed or our knowledge. So what is your take on that? See, one thing which I would like to tell our students, including my nephew is doing CA. Uh, the yesterday only I was sitting with him at night and I was talking to him and telling him we were preparing for final one thing I would like to tell uh, the current generation takes a come laptop uh, this uh, calculator and does the problem on calculator they don't do it on a paper you have to write a paper exam not a calculator exam the people who have been cribbing about a lengthy paper why you are not thinking that the people who have got scored and got ranks, they also wrote the same paper, right? So the point which I would like to give it to our students is that, you know, please, 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 when you are reading corporate law, if you are talking about disqualification of auditor, you might not write a thesis or a paragraph, just put the bullet points on a piece of paper. The flow of your mind and hand will go together. That is what the students are doing a mistake. Mm -hmm. They are thinking that listening to the classes, understanding the entire thing, going and writing an examination is not going to be the future. You need to prepare, you need to draw. If there is a consolidated financial statement, you are having certain steps, seven steps, 10 steps, 12 steps. You need to understand, you need to put it. I'll tell you one simple calculation I was telling, I was explaining my nephew, so let me share with all my students also. During our examination, we never used to get 15 uh, minutes extra mm. and we never had one day examination one day break. Exam. Yeah. We had consecutive examinations. So just imagine you are having three hours of examination into 60 minutes, 180 minutes, minus 20 minutes to write, 100 uh, to read the question read paper. The question that means you are left with how much? 180? Minus so 160, 160. 160. 160. So 160 should be divided by 100 marks means 1.6 minutes 
per per mark mm. that is something which our students have to understand what you need to do is very simple take a clock put the stopwatch take a problem read the question start the clock read the problem right then copy the answer i am not telling you to do it on your do own. it on your own i am telling you to copy the answer from that material whichever you are doing and just see what will be the number of if it is a 16 mark question that's that's uh, insightful and that's something that students right? can implement here yeah. that means if i have a 16 marks question into 1.6 minutes am i right kitna hua mera mathematics thoda kharab hai let's let's take 10 mark question so it will be 16 minutes 16 simple maths 16 right? minutes for 10 marks questions to tum agar question pad ke watch clock chalu kar ke then you start writing looking at the answer how much time you are going to take to see then you can say that it is a lengthy or a not lengthy question is going to be of that size only it cannot be reduced right hmm. yeah and i think one more myth that students have and probably because of some uh, guidance they believe that institute is looking for a copy paste of answers from the institute's material which i also share with my students that that's not the case you need to just write point wise if it is a five mark question and if you write all the five or six points accurately <coughs> you will get maximum marks you need not fill 10 pages for it or you need not fill five pages for it you just need to be to the point give the keywords give your answer in a good flow and you will get the marks so that's, that's also important no if i if you talk about my examination when i wrote uh, in direct taxes paper uh last two pages of the first booklet itself i could not complete mm-hmm. so my booklet minus two papers mm-hmm. were my answers okay. and i got 68 in that okay that so that's a message for all the all students the as simple as that yes yeah. yes moving to another hot topic stipend now we have seen in the new proposal i think the stipend has been doubled it has been increased 100% but still do you think sir for the kind of effort that our articles make i know they have a lot to learn also <coughs> but for the kind of effort that is made is it especially for a tier 1 city is it enough or it could be further increased say it's my own individual opinion i am not giving a opinion based on a council uh, or my be a council member see technically if you ask me the biggest curse in the profession has been article ship mm-hmm. not from any other point of view from earning point of view if you pay more you will charge more hmm. am i right or wrong so first we need to start paying more if you have to earn more which we need to give us clear message and today what is the stipend we are trying to pay so today what happens is if a firm like us we also go binding with the institute size of whatever the recommendation is whenever the increase is going to happen we'll increase to that extent and ensure that the things are moving in the right direction but the fact is that 100% rise might be not sufficient but fact is this is a minimum stipend that need to be paid now it is a choice of a firm if they want to pay more than that hmm. so answer is very simple again no and i'm glad that you have been so candid about it instead of you know just telling no no that much is enough you have been so open and frank about it so thank you for that i think that also reassures a lot of our students that it's not it's it's minimum it's not like uh, you cannot pay more than this so that thought process is really helpful now if you were a student today and you had this <coughs> huge array of courses not just commerce ca related or commerce related but huge array of courses would you still pick up ca in today's day and age with the kind of curriculum that we have uh yes okay reason i'll tell you some students with uh, my office also come and talk to me and they say sir should i do this additional course that additional course and i tell them today one thing my dear student 16 years are over in my practice with all kind of work which i have been doing but i could not exhaust 10% of my degree till date that means how much is available just imagine it's not the number of certificates you need to have it's what you should have if you want to be a chartered accountant in practice there is a purpose of that 
if you want to be a chartered accountant in industry there is a purpose for that and today both side the demand is so high that we are unable to get people that itself is a message we have close to 3 lakh 50 thousand 3 lakh 60 thousand chartered accountants 3 lakh 60 thousand chartered accountants kaha pe hai bhai aadmi nahi milte yahan pe so if that is the kind of demand which is there when you compare i don't want to name any other course but when you compare with any other course which is in high demand the day you qualify the day you get employed or you can do on your own and whatever you want so that's 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 so yes. i would love to continue as a chartered accountant i will if i cho- option is given they are give, willing to give me double degree i'll write my <laughs> exam again and i'll take the ca exam again no problem uh, that's that's wonderful and i think that also answers a couple of other questions in terms of the future of chartered accountants the scope the job the availability i think if you have the right skill set of course you'll have to also you know make your knowledge presentable and if you are able to do that the industry the organizations are willing to absorb you even if that doesn't happen you still can start your own practice and do very well in that ek masala de deta hu globally we are the youngest country in the world am i right yeah now there was one article which was been released where uh, they talked about the auditing and accounting profession is going to be the fourth the number pe accounting and auditing profession is going to die bol ke likha hua tha acha now the point is the country which is written that article uh, my question is how many chartered accountants do you have right or a cpa do you have my point is very simple we are the youngest country in the world and across the globe you matlab you talk about the western part eastern part whichever part you talk about there is no second generation which is taking up the new education if you see all those advanced countries people from outside that country are going and taking education yeah. how many people are going for a chartered accountancy course is a big question again that's the reason they might be thinking that it is not a lucrative course but till the time finance and account is there till that time chartered accountant is required mm. that need to be understood and the most important part the government of india is actually doing a special thing which is called scpc in which they talk about export of ca services okay now most of the countries you will not find young chartered accountants in the volume and size in they mm. want that's the reason most of the foreign countries are coming into india to hire our chartered accountants do their accounting and audit function and give the reports in that particular country now tell me what is the demand of a chartered accountant when you talk about not only nationally you are actually internationally also in demand so what is your capability you think what is that value of the certificate we have you think whether all those courses have that kind of value you think but yes one thing is very uh, you know very clear when we did the recent uh, campus placement might be that was a 5000 requirement of chartered accountant and we had only 3000 to give that means oh. 2000 still is short okay in a one particular location, location. okay that is So this is what CA is all about. I like the perspective that you put it in, and I think it was an eye opener for me also because when people ask this question, I give them answer. I try to convince them, but the fact that you mentioned that we are the youngest country in the world uh, in terms of our average age, and perhaps not in many countries, the volume that people want today is available. available. So that is a big <coughs> bonus that India always has had, and I think that is one big bonus that we as a course also have. Yes. So, so you feel proud now that you are a chartered accountant? <laughs> I was always proud and I, now I feel a little more proud, <laughs> more proud and proud. listening from you I think you are a great convincer. I have to <laughs> tell you that that uh, I am convinced I'm resold on uh, chartered accountancy. Sir, one final piece of advice or advices that you would like to give our uh, audience primarily students and a lot of CA pre- freshers and a few professionals who listen to my channel. for the students i can only tell you one thing is have confidence in yourself uh, you are doing a right course it's basically the people think that you know i am failing i am passing what i have what is happening to me i don't know we see more of a failure examples than where what we have to see is more of a past examples mm-hmm. people who have qualified people who have actually reached some successful you know positions we need to look at them get inspired and then aspire to inspire is a word which has been used by my past president somewhere 
So you aspire to inspire people. That is what I would like to tell you. Second thing, for the students, remembering a subject reproducing examination is not a professional. A professional is who understand the subject and that knowledge is converted into wisdom and that is being applied when you want to do some work. That is the message which I would like to give all my students running for classes. Please understand this course is not for classes. This course is for learning practical. Today our nation is talking about skill empl employment. Don't you think that, you know, the discussion which is happening on the new education policy that it should be a skill based learning. Mm. We are just 73 years ahead of time. Because ICAI, the course is divine, <coughs> designed for practical learning. If you leave the practical learning, what is left in the course? So we have been, I would like to go and tell my Prime Minister saying that, Sir, ICI was 73 years ahead in this thinking process and kindly you always have given us love, regard, respect. Just add this point also in your uh, discussion that from 73 years it is a skill-based approach that is how we have been doing. So for the student, please understand it is not classroom learning, it's a desk learning, client learning understanding the knowledge, understanding different perspectives, understanding different industries, what more at the age of 18 to 21 you can get, which course can give you that kind of experience term, right? Number two for chartered accountants who have freshly qualified. One mistake most of the people are doing is they are getting into a proprietary concern practice, which is not is expected in the market. Tell me one thing, you are in industry, which firm do you like to appoint? A large firm which has multiple partners who can guide you more or one partner who can only talk about signing a financial statement? Which one you would like to have? Of course, the first one I prefer always. Right? So if the industry is expecting that I need to have a larger firm, then how can I actually run a firm as an individual? You need to create institutions and what is happening? Just to give you one statistics is, in a country like 29 states, we don't have 30 firms, 29 firms, which has more than 30 partners also. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if we are going to sit with 85% of the people having proprietary concern, is that what we want to give uh, to the uh, business? I don't think business is going to accept this. So let's start thinking about creating a proper network creating and working atmosphere to come together, a different experts coming together. I might be GST expert, you might be an audit expert, some other person will be a direct tax expert. Different kind of people can come together and form one firm. And ICI has given an opportunity to form a corporate form of practice. ICI is given an opportunity to create networking of firms. ICI is also talked about multidisciplinary practices. What more ICI can give it to people? It's basically people have to now adopt to all these things, right? So for all the youngsters who have qualified, start getting associated. For all the seniors, one request, you have carried the legacy for a couple of years. Your firm might be existing from last 20 years, 15 years, 30 years, 35 years. You are a proprietor. Your children might have not done CA. Why don't you think that a newly qualified chartered accountant is your own child? Adopt them give this legacy of 30 years i think he will never forget and you will always be remembered in your absence that's my message for all the categories this is uh, simply I, I don't know inspiring i have used motivating i have used i'm falling short of adjectives right now sir but the enthusiasm the sheer enthusiasm leave alone the facts the sheer enthusiasm with which you have told all of this i i i feel that you being the board of studies chairman the future <coughs> of the profession is is in real great hands thank you so, very much thank you so much for being so candid so open giving us a teaser into what your thought process is what is coming ahead and i really love the fact that you have you know you are also in, in addition to the technical skill set you are bringing that emotion quotient 
because you have lived through that and that makes our course so wholesome that is something that you have really really you know inspired me as a chartered accountant i am a little more proud when i walk out of here and i'm sure students also all of you are going to be extremely delighted and extremely proud of what the institute is thinking and we are already ahead we are even more uh, aspiring to be even more ahead so thank you so much uh, daya sir for your time and thank you very much aryant uh, actually you stole all my heart uh, feelings and everything but however i don't i don't regret but i am happy that at least i could express certain thing before some person like you and if this discussion is going to give benefit to any student or a member or a senior member i'll be the happiest person and i can only tell you one thing one more twinkle in my father's eyes can actually come out when he sees this video hopefully and uh, he'll be happy to listen to the entire discussion thank you very much great sir and i just hope that we keep having such conversations for the students and we keep seeing you grow in your profession and you will continue to inspire us in different fields so thank you so much once again and for all of you who have listened to this wonderful conversation please do leave your comments in the comment section below of what was your key take away how did you enjoy this particular inspired talk video i will keep bringing such videos to you and such great professionals to you so that you get first hand understanding of what is happening within our uh, within our uh, community don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and as always i am always there for you to walk on the pathway to ca take care